And I believe God. It is time to fly. Many of you, you have been crawling. Many of you, you have been crawling and walking. Now it will, you will fly. Look at someone and say, I will fly. Say it again, I will fly. Your service to God must not be compromised. Number three, doing your assignment. Doing your assignment. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 6, you discover the Bible says, as a servant of God, doing the will of God from the heart. As a servant of God, doing the will of God from where? From where? From where? From the heart. From the heart. You do the will of God from the heart. If you're not doing the will of God, you are distorting it. You are discattering it. It must be the will of God or nothing else. The Bible says, it says, and say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord. That thou fulfill it. Take it. Take it. That's Colossians chapter 4, verse 17. Take it. Look at someone and say, Bro, take it. Take it. Say, Take it. And he said to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfill it. You have received an assignment from God. Fulfill that assignment, friend. Listen to me. When you fulfill your assignment, your assignment will bring bread to you. Amen. Many of us, we run after the, uh, the benefit of the assignment before fulfilling the assignment. No, I don't know whether you got what I'm saying. That, do you understand? Some of you, we run after the benefit of the assignment before we fulfill your assignment. Listen to me. Fulfill your assignment first. Then the benefit of your assignment will come to your hand. You can't eat your cake and have it. You can't eat your cake and have it. Dominate your, your territory. What I mean, dominating your territory means you are bold. You are taking charge. Hold your ground. Hold fast. That which you have received. Hold your ground. Do you know one thing? Risk takers always burn the bridge behind them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? Burning the bridge behind you? you. You cross the bridge. And after crossing the bridge, you burn the bridge. You break it. That means no going back. You either succeed or you die on the road. That's it. You either make it or you no, go, no going back. No surrender. No retreat. No surrender. That's risk takers. So that's why you need to hold your ground. You need to hold fast. And you need to break new ground. Look at someone say, break new ground. Break when last will you do something that you have never done before? Ask yourself. Have you ever thought to yourself, when last will I do something that my wife will tell me, ha, ah, so you can do this thing. Oh, hello, that's wonderful. When last will you surprise your husband? When last will you surprise your boss? When last will you use your initiative to do something, to create an idea that even your boss will say, oh, that's a good idea. Come on, let's go. Let's go ahead with it. Break new ground. Trust God. Look unto God for a miracle. Listen to me. If you look unto God, God will never fail you. And I'm glad to announce to you, listen to me, you have an assignment. You have a purpose. You have a reason for your living. And nobody will steal it away from you. Yeah. I say nobody will steal it from you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. If you hold your ground and you hold God, in this conference, in this conference, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, if you stay on your ground, say, Lord, I'm not going to miss a day. There's blessing awaiting you. There's a big blessing. Big blessing. I told people yesterday, 22 days ago, I said there are people, 
If you tell them, hey, somebody is doing wedding ceremony, somebody is doing obito, obituary, somebody is doing, they will leave their business and they will travel. They will go and stay in the village three days. Or they are building their own house. They will go in the village and stay for three weeks building the house or doing better ceremony. But when it comes to four days in the house of God, no, I don't have time. I'm busy. I have things to do. I will not be able to come to church. I will go in the morning. I will not go in the evening. I will only go in the morning. I will, only, I will, be, I will be jumping one thing. Or the, but the day you go for travel for a bishwari, wedding ceremony, you left everything and you travel. And to be in the house of God for three days, four days, you can't do it? How sheep is your God? How sheep is your God? You need to hold, hold the bull by the horn. Hallelujah. You need to determine, say, God, this season is my season. My life must change. I'm 25, I'm 15 years old, I'm 60 years old. This must change. Listen to me. If you really mean it, this will change your life. Because this is a season of turnaround. This is a season where your destiny will be, will be, will be remoded. This is a season where your future will be reorganized. And I'm glad to announce to you, ladies and gentlemen, let your vision be clear from today in the name of Jesus. I declare you will not be blind. Your vision will not fail you. And I declare, ladies and gentlemen, you will finish well. I declare, let there be light on your way. Let there be peace on your way. Let there be joy on your way. I declare you will not fail like the way your brother failed. Your sister failed, you will not fail that way. Your marriage will work out. That thing that you are looking at as a mountain, one day you will go to tell the story. If you believe that, stand on your feet and shout a better amen.